Aquarius, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 15th to the 21st of June and at the end of next week we'll be going into Cancer so the energy will change now if you would like to have a welcome back in uh, my Cyber Angels thank you very much for your appreciation and showing that by your 20 likes and if you would like to be the first zodiac sign that wants to uh, get their reading then make sure that you keep on clicking on the thumbs on the like button and if you're new welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy the readings and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and of course give us a like now the um, reading that I've uh, got for you is the weekly reading I'm using the nine card spread that I also use in my extensive readings it's slightly different because I don't go into depth in it I'm only taking the week and the corner cards to clarify the cards around it okay and vice versa <coughs> when I go in depth I really go into depth takes about 45 to minutes to an hour okay so here we go um, oh yeah sorry if you want and would like an extensive reading then look underneath the video in the description box or click on the right circle in the top right hand corner and we for the new people there is also a competition you can win the Shadowlands uh, by Monica Brodersky a brand new one um, if you join the competition and if you win there's also the second place vice versa and the third place is a free reading for 20 minutes so I think it's worthwhile joining in and uh, nobody is a loser because you will be making a visionary board and you can keep the visionary board even after the competition okay uh, uh, also we're going into cancer like I said and uh, I can't wait um, but here we go I'm using this card as the overall energy card and um, also the querent card so I'm going to use it as the querent card or you can take it as the overall energy or the querent card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and all the cards around it I will explain and a, a crystal card and an angel feather card just a little bit of new news um, I do go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you would like to join us then please do uh, I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker um, I will be putting out uh, in the community sector um, what time I'm going out that day some people are not getting notified I don't know what's the matter with YouTube but there are some issues people are not getting notified so I will I do put it out on Facebook and the community tab in the future and I also I've just started on Instagram so you can follow me on Instagram Twitter um, and Facebook you can find all the media links on the main page um, in the um, profile photo uh, in the bottom right hand corner okay my darlings uh, let's get started this is your card and you have the knight of swords okay uh, Aquarius this is represents Aquarius Libra and also Gemini so you might be meeting one of these people or you might be getting news of one of these people the news will come through cyber and that could be email text message or a telephone call Ooh, something will become clear as the swords <coughs> stand for justice wisdom uh, communication so definitely a message news is communication and um, something in the swords stand for justice and clarity and um, so something will become clear because you get information you will get knowledge and some that knowledge will be to your advantage because you'll get to know some news on Monday you have the five 
um, of the big Ogama, and that's the higher vent. And <coughs> he represents uh, uh, an advisor. This could be a professional advisor, but this could also mean a father figure. So you might be asking advice from a father figure, or from a teacher, or uh, a lawyer, notary public, anything like that. Okay. He also represents, like I said, he also represents Taurus. Um, uh, so you might be meeting a Taurus, or you because it's above the Knight of Swords, you might hear news from a Taurus. Okay. You've got quite a lot of people in your reading um, because the big Arcana cards, uh, they represent zodiac signs. Okay. And also the King, Queen and Page. But we'll come to each card um, in a minute and the story will build gradually. Okay. So you might need legal advice because you've got the swords here and so you might be getting a news from this advisor. Like I said, it could be an advocate, a teacher, a doctor, uh, a, a, a lawyer, uh, a notary public, a, the tax man. So you might need advice from the tax man on how to do your return. So you are, could be... you. You might not be in balance since you've got number five, but this will m hopefully bring you back into balance and give you clarity. On Wednesday, you have the Six of Wands. <coughs> Sorry. The Six of Wands means that you've got um, public recognition. Woo! You've got victory. You might be going on holiday or moving home. Perhaps you might need advice on how to do that. Okay. And uh, you have victory. You've got acknowledgement from the public, from the community. Um, and you feel like a champion because you've got victory. Great. You are in balance because you've got number six. And you've got number two. You've got the two of pentacles. Perhaps you are balancing your money or trying to balance your money perhaps you're trying to balance your heart and your mind or your heart and your soul perhaps your your emotions is your soul and your me your your i yourself you're trying to balance and trying to cope be between work and home or home and school you can do it you can do it so long you are active and you're do trying to do something you will find an answer especially with help from an advisor you have the magician on Saturday and Sunday you have everything within you to make it happen a new start number one beautiful okay stay on the straight and narrow don't create any illusions you want the clarity and keep on the straight and narrow so that you are not involved with traditional issues okay the magician also represents Aries or Gemini so like I said you might be getting news from a Gemini or an air sign or a Taurus um, in this case a Gemini or Aries as well now you I'm going to go to this card and that's the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a Leo. The King is Aries. So you've got Aries and Leo. Okay, two fire signs. And you have the air signs. Now, um, the Queen of Wands, she is a lady that is very, very independent and determined. She ha gets an idea and she goes into action. She's very creative because she also stands for creativity. Action is work, creativity is hobby as well, and she is passionate. So when she, when the button passion hits with the Queen of Wands, she goes for it. She doesn't see anything else but what she wants, and she'll find a way to get what she wants. 
So you might be meeting one of these people or you might be getting news from um, a Leo. But don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries. Because Aries and Leo are here, but don't exclude Sagittarius. That's also a fire sign. But the Queen overall represents Leo. Okay, so you might, she might be the advisor, not a Taurus. So it could be a mum, it could be an aunt, it could be a teacher. That gives you advice if that is what you need to get to do this new start, this new beginning. <coughs> the magic is within you, just remember that. You're the one that creates your magic. It won't happen if you don't come into action. Very, very active cards. Now, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, for me, is just like the Nine of Cups. An ending and a new beginning in phases. You are going to go to a better phase. Perhaps you were trying to balance money because you wanted something and you've got it. Perhaps somebody might be giving you a gift or you might be getting a promotion. Perhaps that is the advice that the Queen is giving you. Okay, or a tax return. Uh, perhaps she has shown you the way on balancing your finances. But you're going into a better period. And like I said, the Nine of Pentacles. Who doesn't want money? But Pentacles is not only money, it is something material. So it could be that something material, you might get a gift of something that is durable and for long term like a promotion like a better paid job like a house so there will be news about something okay great stuff you might get the news to say that you've got the job or that you are getting a pay rise or a promotion because you've got victory card here so this goes very well together and your wish is coming true it's a lot like the Nine of Cups, like I said, but it's an ending uh, and a new beginning, because where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And you might seek advice on your finances, like I said, so that you know how to balance them. <coughs> then we have the Ace of Cups, and your cup is running over. Okay. A new beginning. This could be with um, um, a Cancer. This could be with a Pisces, a Scorpio. Wow. It could be a new love. It could be a new passion. So you've got an ending, new beginning, a new beginning, definitely. Woo! New beginning. You've got loads of people in your reading and loads of new beginnings. There is definitely something, um, something exciting, exciting happening. Awesome! I hope you enjoy the new passion or the new love that in your life, whether it's a person or whether it's a um, thing like work or a hobby or a passion <coughs> that you can nurture. Because the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring. It could be a job in the healthcare. For example, it could be a receptionist in a hospital. It doesn't have to be a nurse. It can be a nurse, it can be a doctor, it can be a chiropodist. It's something to do that um, with uh, caring is something, um, a vocation that you are of service to others. Beautiful. And you like, again, you might get a love letter or you might get an, uh, a letter of confirmation. You have done the magic. You have used your magic to get this to this new beginning and being balanced emotionally. Wow, well done. Then in this corner we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, you might be depressed you might be too much in your head and you're not focusing on what is happening around you. Look at her. She's just looking in one direction and not around her. 
and that's why she might be out of balance and this could be you okay Aquarius so don't be in your head come into action don't just sit there jump up and take action do the magic and find your balance okay there will be an offer given to you and it's like in the traditional tarot you see a hand coming out of the clouds now that's only with the aces and the four of cups so there will be an offer there will be victory you will get the news about this offer but don't focus on one thing or in one direction be flexible and be open to res uh, to more things than one see what is around you be aware of what is happening around you okay great stuff don't walk around with blinkers on take them off and you've got primrose angel feather an advanced soul beautiful card the angels acknowledge that in your midst is an advanced soul beautiful soul an indigo crystal or rainbow child that you have been called on to love guide and teach what a blessing this is like a teacher so you could be the hierophant instead of you going for advice to a teacher you might be the teacher teaching or having to take care of an advanced soul taking care that could be your specific job and to end the reading we have the moonstone 37 and that is a 10 again a new beginning the essential meaning of this is intuition insight like the hierophant inner wisdom like the hierophant inner voice intuition and new ideas great inner knowing inner sensing these are the talents that the conscious universe has bestowed upon all of us but we have been conditioned to minimize their importance and instead pay more attention to the knowing that comes from experiencing life through our physical sense and senses and logical analysis do you hone your intuition do you trust it even when you can't point to a logical reason why you know what you know that's most probably your subconscious like here the hierophant it also represents because usually there's two people uh, beneath the hierophant and they uh, are the practical and the theory and we've got the keys um, but we don't see it in this deck but that the keys means opening the subconscious into the conscious so you know something and the subconscious is coming out into the conscious and that's from past lives most probably your message from the moonstone spirit is to tune in and listen to your intuition be spiritual and that's what uh, intuition is as well spiritual it will speak to you through an inner voice an inner vision an inner sensation that feels real because well it is it has many ways of communicating to you now is the time to pull back the veil between the visible and the invisible worlds trust that the hidden reality matters and know that your intuition comes from conscious universe which possesses wisdom knowledge and understanding far beyond far beyond your own wow that is a very significant message i hope you pay attention aquarius and in the you can use this to your advantage a lot of the time only if you're open to it relationship message what is your intuition telling you about an other person and this is when you go into a party or a presentation or a meeting 
you sometimes get a twinge in the stomach or you feel something uncomfortable and your intuition is telling you not to trust that person so be careful listen to it have you been dismissing it because you feel you can't justify this inner conviction moonstone spirit is here to let you know that you aren't crazy you are picking up on information that can't be perceived by the five senses and you are meant to listen to it now is the time to hone your intuition through meditation which or contemplation and evaluation which awakens the ability to receive messages from the universal consciousness your relationships will all benefit from your willingness to be honest with yourself and I said don't don't um, don't make an uh, illusion okay stay on the straight and narrow that is wow this reading is the best of all so far um, the willingness to be honest with yourself to listen to your intuition your first and primary sense for the prosperity message I've got this Moonstone Spirit's message for you is to trust your instincts and not fall into analysis paralysis, paral paralysis trying to use logic and reason to prove to yourself what you already know you have the ability to pick up on important insights that can help you in building the wealth you deserve and experiencing the affluence that will help you find your purpose wealth exists to help you in the important work you came here to do trust that the conscious universe wants you to have what you need and will guide you in acquiring it but you must learn to respect your intuition your direct line to wisdom that comes from the universal consciousness and that is also magic if you connect with the universe and the angels it magic will happen but you must respect your intuition and your wealth you build wealth and wealth like I said is not only money it's something that is durable and for the long term and that is also what Pentacles uh, mean okay Aquarius I think this is mind-blowing reading really so listen to those new ideas listen to your gut feeling be open be, be open to receive the love the acknowledgement of the universe the angels and the people around you the community family and friends I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and I hope to see you in the live I will put it out in community so keep um, check it out um, I usually go live at about eight, between 8.30 and 9.30 <coughs> on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if that is European time, so if you are in America, then have a look in Google what time that is at your place and keep an eye out for the message in community. Take care, God bless and be blessed. Have a great week.